One of the biggest nights of the year for kids in one area community. Cheryl Ladame joins us now with more on why students in Northern Bedford are getting ready to pull an all-nighter. Hey, Charlotte. Amanda, tonight at 9, students from 6th grade on up will start dancing and they won't stop until 7 tomorrow morning. The Northern Bedford Dance-a-thon is celebrating its 11th year helping area families, mainly children, with serious medical issues. On Thursday afternoon at a pre-thon assembly, everybody was getting geared up for the coming evening. West Virginia. Both teachers and students gave their funniest or their best performances. Among those enjoying the entertainment was the Yingling family, one of those adopted by Thon. Their two boys have a rare progressive genetic disorder that damages the brain, spinal cord, and heart. They both love to dance, so tonight's going to be a lot of fun for them. Money from Thon could also fund home improvements that will make it easier for the boys to get around. This year, students have already raised $8,000, and they expect to top that. I go to Thon personally as well as having fun, but to also support the people in that have, like, cancer and whatnot. It's a chance for us to show the kids that there's more to education than just book work, that they can actually be a part of the community and help the community. Over the past decade, the Northern Bedford Thon has raised more than a quarter of a million dollars. This year, they expect to be able to help at least four families. Charlotte Ames, WTAJ News. Wow, awesome. Thank you, Charlotte.